Salah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of getting Android O beta form on your Pixel device or Nexus devices. I'm going to show you guys what's compatible, what's not compatible and how to download it. Also how to be able to get it as an OTA on your device without having to download it and sideload it as most processes will do. This is TK, let's go ahead and check it out. Downloading and installing on your device, there's really two different ways. You can download the direct image here, which we have them listed. You just need to go to developer.android.com forward slash preview forward slash download.html. Uh, there's two different ways. Like I said, download the OTA image itself and sideload it to your device. And uh, keep in mind that by doing so, you don't necessarily have to have an unlocked bootloader, but you will not receive OTA updates to the beta preview program, which means that when they release beta 2, you're not going to receive an update automatically. You have to manually download it again and reinstall it. Or the other option would be is to go directly into the Android beta program. So that's right there. If you log into the site with the account that's logged into your Pixel device or the compatible devices, which we'll can see here. So Nexus 5, Nexus 6P, Player, C, Pixel, and Pixel XL. So those are the devices that are currently is provided uh, an actual image, an OTA image that you can download and install. Uh, you'll be able to receive it as an OTA update. So I did download that late last night um, and it did show up on my device. It's actually not bad. It's version... 0pp2.170420.017 for our Pixar XL. The size is about 919 megabyte, and then this is a beta version of Android O. Of course, they do warn you that this is a beta version. There's some things that are not working. Some things are hopefully working a little bit. So it's definitely to be able to check it out, but nothing to basically say, look, this is going to be definitely 100%. Now, it is daily driver uh, ready, so meaning you can use it because that's in what now we're in beta, so we can definitely check this out. I went ahead and downloaded and installed it, and of course, in pixel fashion, it downloads and installs in the background, and as soon as you restart your device, it's actually available for you. So first thing we're going to mention here is now we have the double tap to, re uh, to wake, which gets you the notification. You can see I have a little icon right there telling me that I have a notification directly from YouTube. Um, unlocking the device is pretty much the same. You can unlock it, it takes you directly. The fingerprint sensor is still working. We still have access to gestures, which means I can scroll down. Some of the main updates that we have now in Android O is the ability to do picture in picture. There's also a notification on the actual note icon. So you'll notice right there, Google has a little bit of a bubble next to it, a little dot. So if I press and hold on this, it gives me the option, option here to see, it looks giving me the weather information, which if I bring down from the notification shade, I can see. Of course, I can go to widget, app information. You can pretty much long press on any application, regardless if it's in the app drawer or not. Google Now is uh, still sitting here on the left. Installing it, the method I used, which is downloading it as an OTA directly on my device, did not wipe my device, so I didn't lose any of my information. That's one of the main benefits. We're going to see here system update, Android O. It downloaded its secu uh, security patch as of May 5th, which is, of course, the latest I'm ever, I'm ever going to actually see it on any device. Of course, we have System Tuner turned on by default. I have it. We have Picture in Picture, Do Not Disturb, Navigation Bar, Lock Screen. Those are some of the things you can customize in there. Um, you'll notice directly that the organization of the settings tab is a little different. So now they're grouped. And then you also have the ability of going into Advanced. So if you go into Display, by default, it'll give you the brightness level, nighttime, if you build a night light turning on, obviously, and then Adaptive Display and Wallpaper. But if you hit Expand, you'll get the additional options. By default, they're collapsed. So if I go out, go back into Display, it shrinks it down, trying to make it simple. Uh, now, this is where we see the new option where it's basically said um, right there, double tap to check phone and of course lift to check phone. So we still have the ability to have the ambient display on, which is also right there. The device theme by default, it's given us two different themes. So it has the android.auto-generate.rro or we can switch it over to pixel theme. And again, just I think it just keeps it the same way. It doesn't. I don't think it really changes anything. So we'll go back into display. And then we'll go down here and it didn't seem, actually it takes it back. Let me go back. So now I have it on pixel, go back, go back in here and it changes it back. So I guess this is one of those little bugs you got to keep in mind. Uh, there is the option, of course, it's changing different things. Uh, we do have now the suggestions here to do not, uh, so, you know, do not disturb rules. You can set those up. Um, support system. Let's go back here. Let's go language backup system option. Developer options are still there. Let's see what we have here. So picture color is sRGB. I have that turned on just to keep in mind. That was part of what I had it before. Um, as far as system tuner, we have the ability of customizing the status bar, the do not disturb option. Picture in picture, I did have that turned on. I'll show you guys it's working kind of. I'll go back into layout. Uh, this is for the navigation bar. So you can go normal, compact, left center. So you can see it changes it right away. Um, of course, I can go right, which makes it closer to my right side. I can keep it normal. 
um, extra button if you want to add the clipboard you can add that it's right there um, you don't have to um, and of course I'll just gain none or I can add it to the right side so you'll see it there definitely a nice little option uh, just to keep it there uh, let's go back we'll go normal and extra we'll say none uh, our notification shade is pretty much similar we're still able to edit that go into it you can edit add different things we have options one thing you may have noticed that the about phone is no longer at the bottom here when you go under system you go under there and it says about pixel xl so android version is android o just double click in it or click in it it'll bring up our new uh, o uh, but there is no easter egg if you press and hold it for a long amount of time you just get the kitty cat that's pretty much it the same thing we've had before again android patch level is uh, may 5th Let's go see some of those new functionalities as I said. We can actually press and hold on every single icon on our home screen. Now the good thing is you can get it to app information, be able to uninstall it directly from there. Um, if you go to Google, uh, let's say Maps, Maps gives you the ability of setting if you have preset locations, you can jump into home or work, or of course go into the widgets, which is definitely appreciated there. Google uh, Snapchat, you can get that here. And I think if we go into Allo, let's see here, it start a new conversation and let's go back home and here keep i think keep also gets some new functionalities which is nice uh, new audio notes photo note list and options so very very nice um, i do have daydream installed on this so i'll be able to check that out as well and of course your app information all of those things definitely very appreciated now picture and picture is what was also announced yesterday and it kind of works and it doesn't kind of work so i have um, you know youtube red and that's one of the things they said you needed to have so i can play some music here I am going to bring the volume down just because of copyright issues. Uh, and you're supposed to basically bring it down to the right and then hit home. Now, for me, you'll notice that it still plays in the background. That's because I have YouTube Red. Um, on the bottom right, on the bottom here, if I press on home on YouTube, it tells me this is what's playing on. I can swipe it away or I can click it to open and then it'll work. So picture in picture, not exactly working for everything. But if you go into Chrome and you launch YouTube as an application within Chrome and let's say you play a video. So once you have the video started, go to full screen and then go home. You'll notice the video kind of pops up and you know, a split screen or I guess, you know, picture in picture with reality, it's really the video playing, but it doesn't play the aspect ratio correctly. That was, so that was the only way I can get it to run. You'll notice in the notification shade, it sits there. You can see I'm watching a Casey Neistat video. Um, but again, it's full screen. I can't see it. Uh, I can't change the size of the font. I can't do anything. I can snap it. I can go whatever I want. So picture in picture, still beta, still going to need some fine tuning. It doesn't work exactly as advertised yet, but it's definitely appreciated. And the fact that we have now long pressing and notifications, definitely very nice. Wi-Fi calling was actual present here. I'm using a T-Mobile SIM card here. So if I do jump over to here and let's go to settings and then we'll go Wi-Fi calling so it says configure wi-fi calling notice that it did this little option so i did a search here which i chose wi-fi calling when i click that it takes me to the screen and it automatically auto highlights for me showing me where that selection is so i don't have to scroll up and down to find it so here's wi-fi calling calling preference wi-fi is preferred so i should be able to make phone calls using wi-fi calling on here so you notice right there it says wi-fi call i'm actually i just dialed in the 611 to t-mobile and we'll be able to basically just get the information. Overall, very exciting the options that we see here. Definitely the ability to have the latest and greatest from Google on our Pixel devices is gonna be exciting. Um, Wi-Fi calling is working, the camera works. Um, a lot of the things that you'd expect from it to work. So as far as a daily driver, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be 100% and that's what they say to you. This is a beta, expect some issues, but again, definitely exciting to see some of the main benefits here. I'm looking forward to see you know the Google Lens option being turned on. That wasn't turned on on here. The assistant did not have it yet. So those are the ability or the, even the ability to use a keyboard to type in your search in the Google Assistant, which is something that's coming up very soon. I did hear some rumors that some devices are getting that already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.